you guys welcome back to my channel the secret life of tea or if you are new to my channel welcome today i wanted to discuss a viral game i keep noticing all over the internet and it is it is and it is called the midnight game now i had recently about two nights ago made a post on, on a paranormal community on Amino about the Midnight Game. And I had gone through the, um, what is it called? The equipment you need, uh, the steps of the game, which I will go through in this video, but I highly advise that nobody attempt to play this game unless you want something bad to attach itself to you. So let's get started and I will tell you how to play the midnight game even though you should not play this. Alright, let's get started. So I will be reading this uh, game off of a, another web page on my computer, so bear with me for one second while I get this set up. This is the Midnight Game. Let's get started. Let's summon up some demons. No, I'm just kidding. So, I'm not going to give the website away where I'm reading this from just because I don't want to get in any trouble. But they say, it is believed that the Midnight Game was once an old pagan ritual used as a punishment for those who dared to disobey the gods. While this claim is unsubstantiated, I don't know how to say that, the game has still become a popular activity for thrill seekers. As with all of most dangerous games, proceed at your own risk. If you must proceed at all, it is recommended that you do not, under any circumstances, play this game. So they even tell you not to play the game, but yet they're going to tell us how to play the game. For the players, you need at least one principal. So, I'm guessing at least one person. The requirements are one candle, one lighter or book of matches, one piece of paper, one writing implement, one pen, one wooden door closed, and salt. Instructions The Invitation Begin prior to midnight. Write your full name, first, middle, and last on the piece of paper with your writing implement. Prick your finger with the pen and squeeze until a drop of blood appears. Dot the blood on the paper and allow it to soak in. Turn off every light in your home. Place the, pa place the paper with your name and blood on it in front of the closed wooden door. Light the candle using the matches or lighter and place it on top of the paper. If you are using a taper, make sure it is placed in a candle holder. Knock on the door so many times, I'm not going to say. The final knock must occur precisely when the clock chimes at midnight. Open the door, then blow out the candle and close the door. Relight your candle immediately. The main event. The main event. Keeping your candle in hand and your salt and matches or lighter close by, begin to move about your home. Should your candle go out, you must relight it within the next 10 seconds. If you are successful continuing moving about your home, do not stop moving until 3.33 a.m. If you are unsuccessful in relighting the candle, immediately surround yourself with a circle of salt. Remain inside the circle until 3.33 a.m. For all. 
the ending. At 3.33 a.m., it is safe to stop moving or to step outside your circle of salt. You may also turn on the lights. The game is over. And then they add some additional notes. The Midnight Game may be played with more than one player in this in, in this intent. In this instance, all players are principals. As such, each player must perform the invitation individually. The invitation welcomes an entity known as the Midnight Man. The Midnight Man. Oh my God, I can't talk. Inside your home. The goal of the game is to avoid meeting the Midnight Man in the dark. Continually moving about your home will make it more difficult for him to find you. Should you stop moving at any point, he will catch you. Accounts differ as to what befalls players caught by the Midnight Man. Some claim he will induce a hallucination of your worst fear until the end of the game. Others claim he will remove your organs one by one. Both outcomes are to be avo avoided at all costs. Indications that the Midnight Man is near include, but are not limited to, the following. Sudden drops in temperature, the sound of a soft whisper with no discernible source, the appearance of a humanoid figure within the darkness, the candle glow. Should you experience any of the first three occurrences, leave the area immediately. Should you experience the fourth occurrence following the previous given instructions, relighting the candle within the next 10 seconds will keep the Midnight Man temporarily at bay. Should you fail to perform this action correctly, the Circle of Salt will do the same. Do not fail to do either. There are no known methods about abort the game. At 3.33 a.m. the Midnight Man will leave your home. After he has left, you may safely end the game. Do not turn on any lights during the game. Do not use a flashlight during the game. Do not go to sleep during the game. And do not use a lighter instead of a candle during the game. Do not use a person's blood other than your own during the game. Do not attempt to leave your home during the game. Do not attempt to provoke the Midnight Man during the game. And most, Im most importantly, do not assume that the Midnight Man has left your home for good at the conclusion of the game. That's spooky. And I think that's the end of their post. Anyways, the point of my video was that I had made a post on Amino Community about this, and the same night after making this post, as I was getting ready for bed, I was laying down and I put on a kid animation movie, uh, Surf's Up, if you don't know it, it's about penguin surfers, so... But this is spooky because I had gone to bed about 20-25 minutes before midnight when the midnight game is played and I had a really bad nightmare that night where I was in the bathroom and I was getting cleaned up probably for the next day and the lights went out. And I went to flip on the light switch, and they didn't come back on. And of course I got panicky, and I started flicking it back and forth. I don't even know why I didn't try just leaving the bathroom. But it's a, it's a dream. Um, but I flicked the light switch back on and off, and they wouldn't turn on right away. And when they did turn back on, they flickered for a few seconds and then stayed back on. So after that, I walked down our hall into the kitchen. And as soon as I get into the center of the kitchen, it's the best way I know how to explain it. 
Um, we usually leave an overhead light on for anyone else that's up during the night can like see you walking around the apartment. When I get into the kitchen, all the lights turn off and the whole apartment's pitch black and the darkness seems darker than normal. And in my nightmare, I feel like someone is there with me in the dark and it's just so creepy. But so I literally shake myself awake and sit straight up in my bed. I wish I looked at the time, because it would have been even creepier if I woke up at 3.33 in the morning from this nightmare. Because I know I went to bed right before midnight. Anyways, it just gave me the creeps. I made another post called, uh, Was This Nightmare Warning? Because I went to bed watching a kids movie um I know I did I made a post about the midnight game but that was like almost three hours before I went to bed so it wasn't even on my mind anymore consciously I guess but um tell me what you guys think I really want the feedback please uh leave your comments down below and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and yeah, click the the bell so you get notifications when I post new stuff. And I hope you guys continue to watch my my YouTube channel. And until next time, I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. Just wanna kill you.